Converting lithology data to eye data is useful for creating gradational models such as hydraulic conductivity and porosity if they are to be based on lithologic classifications. In this example, the upper profile shows lithology while the lower profile represents hydraulic conductivities that were based on lithologic data rather than pump test data which was not available. Let's say that we have logs that include lithologic data. Click on the iData tab, select the iData types option, and enter the name for the iData column that will contain the hydraulic conductivity value. Now, let's look at the lithotypes by clicking the lithology tab and then selecting the lithology types button. If the G values for the lithotypes represent unique hydraulic conductivities, then we can proceed to the next step. By unique, we mean that no two lithologies can have the same G value. Otherwise, skip to the next video in this playlist titled Converting Lithology to iData Using a Conversion Table. Next, select the lithology, Lithology to iData lithology G values to iData column option. Select the hydraulic conductivity column from the pull-down menu adjacent to the iData track prompt. While we're here, notice the spatial filtering options that allow you to convert just the lithologies between two stratigraphic units within a polygon, outside of a polygon, and so on. Now, if we look at the eye data for all of the boreholes, we'll see that the hydraulic conductivity column has been populated with the G values from the corresponding lithologic intervals. Plotting a strip log cross section depicting the lithology and hydraulic conductivities will graphically confirm this. For example, notice how the gravel intervals have high hydraulic conductivities and the clays have low conductivities. At this stage, we are ready to create models of the hydraulic conductivity I data.